Welcome to Buzz on Veterans, brought to you by Operation Barnabas. I'm your host, Chris Budahas. Today we have T Taylor Elders from New York Life Security. So Taylor, welcome. Hey, thank you. Hey, Appreciate you having me. It's good to have you. Yeah, absolutely. So um, tell me where you're from, what you do in the Marine Corps, and what are you doing now with New York uh, Life? So uh, I'm originally, I'm a Florida native, not a Jacksonville native, Okay. but I am a Florida You're native. You're forgiven. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> um, I'm from a small town called Sebring, Florida. If yep. you're really into Le Mans racing, maybe you've heard of it. I have, actually. Um, yeah. And fortunately enough for me, growing up, I was able to kind of have some mentorship and someone was able to put me in line with saying, hey, maybe you should think about joining the Marine Corps. So joined the Marine Corps and I was a computer and radio technician. Okay. Um, and then as that progressed, I learned all kinds of other valuable skills, valuable trades, became a marksmanship instructor, became a martial arts instructor, um, and then ended up settling here in Jacksonville. Wow. Okay. Where got out of the service and I do what I do now. So where were you serving at in the Marines? Uh, I mean, as a young man, the very first place I went to was Okinawa, Japan. Okay, yeah. And then from Okinawa, Japan, I did uh, two combat tours yeah. over in Afghanistan and went all over the Pacific. Uh, I think probably from the time I was 21 to 23, I had been in about 12 different countries. Wow, yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. so, so what are you doing now and how did you get into it? So... And I'm going to talk a little bit about the nonprofit that got me involved. Oh, yeah, with absolutely. Let's talk okay. about that. Yeah. So I was on LinkedIn, and of course, you get kind of familiarized with people and you get connected and make network connections. And one of the ones that was sent out to me was Vets on Tap here in Jacksonville. Oh, it's gigantic. Mm -hmm. Will Gibson does a phenomenal job of that. Yeah. So I ended up, it's a professional networking event for yeah. those who are active duty veterans and people who are wanting to hire those active duty yeah. or veterans. And lo and behold, a couple months into it, I got offered my job to go work at New York Life, which was a Fortune 100 company, and yeah. a complete no-brainer for me. Yeah. Um, but I had I had gotten my degree while I was in, and I just wanted to make use of it because it's yeah. a business and finance degree. Yeah. Um, really wanted to change it up. Wanted to get away from IT and wanted to get away from a lot of the uh, we'll call it the command climate stuff that yeah. I was dealing with earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's funny, you know, you bring up a, a great point, like LinkedIn, what a powerful resource, you know, and I, I've, I've talked to some folks in, in the military are like, yeah, I, I kind of shy away from social media. And they go, and I, I go, and they ask me, does it matter? I said, well, as far as the rest of the world is concerned, you don't, you don't exist, right? That's a terrible thing to say. Yeah. And I, I will completely agree. I was one of those guys. I really like to have a small social media presence. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it just you can cast a wider net utilizing yeah. at least LinkedIn for your social media. There's people that want our skills yeah. as military. Uh, people want our managerial skills. People want our leadership. It, why not market yourself on something like that? That's huge, right? Mm -hmm. And then the, the, just that network of other folks to kind of inform you know, your decisions on you know what career field you want to work in and, and, and where to work. You know, that's, that's important. Absolutely. So you got any advice for, for fellow service members besides LinkedIn on as they kind of look at transition, you know, maybe a do or don't that, that you went through personally? So first off, um, you're, you don't know what you don't know. Mm. I'll say that yeah. much. Yeah. And I will also say, yes, there is a wealth of knowledge and education that we get whenever we are on our transition out. But yeah. at the end of the day, it can never prepare you for what that's going to be like and all the programs that are associated with it. Yeah. I cannot teach you in a week how you're going to live your life for the rest of your life yeah. after the service. So take it upon yourself to learn about those benefits. And then most of all, reach out to fellow veterans who are going through huge, the same right? thing, yeah. which is, I'm just gonna harp right back on it, yeah. LinkedIn. You're gonna find veterans at these kind, on, on LinkedIn that's yeah. going to be able to help you and that have been through the same rigmarole that you have. And they wanna help. I find that if you know, and it's funny, you know, we talk about you know, um, characteristics of the leadership and having that moral courage. It takes a little bit of moral courage to put yourself out there. And what I find like with Vets on Tap and other organizations here in the area is, hey, there's other veterans who wanna help you. They, they want you to be successful. And if you reach out to them, they'll give you very good advice and then you know, don't just listen to one person, listen to other folks. So I Absolutely. The last thing we ever want to do is make someone into another horror story. And I'm sure we've all heard about it. Yeah. The rigmaroles that you have to deal with, with all these government funded agencies and whatnot. And that's fine. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're vets helping other vets. And yeah. we just want to bring you up. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate you coming in. 
Hey group, hey, today's uh, episode of Buzz on Veterans brought to you by Operation Barnabas, a great nonprofit over in Orange Park uh, helping out veterans in need to become whole again. Uh, what I would like to mention is uh, thanks to Bill Hickey, he notified me last week that come uh, March 9th from uh, 10 o'clock to 2 p.m. over at the Players TCP Sawgrass, there's a job fair with a lot of great uh, organizations coming out to uh, to, to interview and then also collect resumes for, for veterans in the community that are looking for you know other opportunities or uh, employment uh, here in the Northeast uh, Florida, Southeast Georgia area. So I'd encourage you to uh, come, come follow me on LinkedIn and take a look at uh, that, that flyer there and what companies are coming out. So thanks again and we'll see you at the next uh, Buzz on Veterans. Operation Barnabas is a veterans ministry um, started in 2017 with the purpose of helping um, our veterans that uh, kind of got left behind and uh, you know they've struggled with addictions, PTSD, uh, suicidal thoughts, those kind of things, helping them get whole again through one-to-one -one mentorship. Being able to communicate with them and help them can drastically change their life, can drastically change a family's life. The little that we can do is put our hand out and say, hey, do you want a hand up?